stay-at-home economy is here to, um, well, stay. Even if today it felt like we were about to be unleashed from our cages. I mean, from our houses. We have so much incredible technology to enable remote work that I bet millions of people keep doing it even once the health emergency comes to an end, and it will come to an end. Which brings me to Bluescape. It's a privately held software company with a very cool platform. Bluescape makes a secure virtual workspace that's collaborative and lets you run all sorts of applications, including video chatting channels, cloud storage tools, and multimedia-rich software used by the entertainment industry. Doing all of this stuff uh, through a single portal is a lot more secure than running a constellation of separate applications, which is what most people are doing right now. And it's all patchwork except for this. Bluescape's found a lot of traction in Hollywood, but lately they've been winning on contracts all over the place. The U.S. Air Force, Ford Motor, J.P. Morgan, Intel. I think this could be the future. So let's dig deep with Peter Jackson, the CEO of Bluescape, to learn more about his company and the future of the stay-at-home universe. Mr. Jackson, welcome to Mad Money. Jim, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Peter, I got to tell you, every one of these things that we've been doing about stay-at-home they're nice and they're quaint. And you know what? I'll like them for about another two days. And then I'm sick of them. <laughs> Bluescape seems to be the first thing that I've seen where it may be better than if we were all healthy and great and could get together in one room. Maybe you can explain why that is. I think that the, uh, the origins of things we try to do that are productive in America are that we try to get everybody, as we all say, get on the same page. And I think the problem is, is that we toss around PDFs, files, videos, and they're all on different pages. And generally, if you're in a Zoom meeting or uh, let's say a WebEx meeting, it's right. one person talking and a lot of people listening. And it's one document that you're sharing that one person created with maybe a couple others. In our particular environment, we, we're letting everybody work at the same time on a project by project basis. And this really helps people uh, that are remote work with a secure platform that is used, as you mentioned, by the federal government and other European governments uh, to do these projects and get things cut so that production time can be cut by 50 or 60 percent. Well, that's incredible. I mean, there's a show that everybody likes that you can watch on Netflix, not just on the network because it's so exciting, which is Blacklist. And one of the things I loved about it, first is they use Bluescape, but then the creator says that, look, you know, he's a Luddite, meaning that you don't have to be a genius to use. I was on a Zoom conference call yesterday, and literally half the people were like saying, oh, what do I do? What do I do? I'll call. I mean, I <laughs> it was like a frightening thing because most of the people were 50 and 60. Eventually, we just said, OK, the hell with it. I mean, we were almost willing to get to, you know, expose ourselves. How about the fact that Bluescape doesn't seem to be that hard to use and it and a show like uh, that, it, that, that uh, like Blacklist, which everybody loves, is done on it. Well, three things. You know, one, almost every studio uh, in the United States does all their productions in Bluescape. And that starts with, you know, they used to print storyboards and frame in conference rooms and then to discuss, you know, what are we doing for garments? What are we doing for casting? All the way through the production. Most of these things are made digitally anyway. You know, it's a tree in a rock. And then all the way through distribution in different languages. But to your, to your challenge on... Uh, sort of this video conferencing that, you know, we did a lot of testing because I'm on Zoom with you now. Mm -hmm. And I think it's working really well. But I've watched you this morning. You work for productivity. You don't work for time. And so I think a lot of this work from home concept, we'll talk about it a little bit, um, is about these productivity tools. But can they be secure? And can you take these documents home and start working them on your VPN? And so when you're talking about that, I'm looking at the degradation. Like you were in there this morning. When I got up, and every night when I drive home, when I used to drive home, it doesn't take me very long now, I'm watching Mad Money. So you work for productivity, and you want that time away from your vehicle to get things done. Well, you know, it's funny. I was watching behind you when we first talked. There's a picture of me saying, oh, I love that stock. And I'm trying to figure <laughs> out how you – would you and I be able to collaborate if we had Bluescape where I'd be able to use that and tell you what to do with it? Because it looks like behind you is a Bluescape situation. Yeah, there are three people in that conference call right now. There's supposed to be a fourth, but I, this is a far better opportunity for me. Um, but we're, they're working on a project right now for, uh, for Ford Motor Company, um, and we're trying to help them because they have uh, employees in China and Mexico. Um, and so they're sort of integrating what the workflows will look like uh, when, they're, they're, when it's applied to, let's say, marketing or manufacturing for them. And they're probably one of our ex most explosive customers. But yeah, you would be in there. We, did, we put that in there five minutes ago. 
Someone said, hey, let's throw a GIF in. Of, uh, of And there's a few of them out there. We think we picked a good one. Oh, you sure did. Now, we went out to the U.S. <laughs> Air Force Academy, uh, and it's very clear that what they do there is meant to stay there. In other words, what they do is very, uh, very secure, very private. They're certainly not going to show us parts of it. Uh, so I have to believe that they chose Bluescape. I can't hack into Bluescape. Well, we just won one of their top awards. And everything that comes at us is really from a security standpoint. When we go into these sales cycles we have now, uh, which generally would take us about three months because there's so many people involved, they're now turning into like three days. Uh, the first call and the second call is the security people. They don't even want to know about what the right. thing does and they want to know how we built it. So we built it as a container, not a URL. So it's, it's, it's bundled up, it's encrypted, oh, and it. only the people allowed to get in it can get in it. Some people can't manipulate the data, they can only read it. Uh, and now you're sizing up who's doing what, because there's always that person who complains they do the most and do, does the least. Well, now you can run an AI under this and go, hey, by the way, Junior, you're not doing anything. The quietest person in the room, the different language. Right. This is perfect for the military, but as we move to commercial use, it, there's, you don't want to have what happened to Sony when North Korea got a hold of their movies. You, we have to make sure that we have a platform in the world today that makes people be able to work more productively, faster, that involves everybody. This is a brilliant program. I got to admit that it really is. I didn't even know it existed until we booked you. I want to congratulate you, Peter Jackson, CEO of Bluescape, for what I think is a solution that will last past COVID. Nice to meet you, sir. Hey, not booyah, blooyah. <laughs> booyah, I'll take it. Man, money's <laughs> back after the break. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.